Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the channel. We're in that time of year now where the ground is frozen and there's not much snow, and that can make it really interesting setting up hot tents. So today I'd like to show you a method that I've taken to using on frozen ground and ice, and it's extremely easy. Timber locks. These things rip into frozen ground like nobody's business. It's so easy and effortless. It's amazing, and that makes it worth the extra weight. These things just hog into the ground so well. Now these are six inch timber locks, and if you bury these in frozen ground or ice, these will not fail. They're not going anywhere. Your tent will fail first. It'll explode, rip into a billion pieces, whatever it's going to do. However it's going to fail, it'll fail at some other point. It won't be the stakes. Now the easiest way to go about sinking these things into the ground is with a screw gun. It just makes real short work of it. But for me and for many others, it's probably a little bit too heavy. Now if weight isn't an issue, this is the way to go. Or maybe you're a cool bushcrafter or doing some sort of cool project and you've got one of these things kicking around. That'll work. This will sink them, for sure. This is what I prefer on a trip. Small, light, it works. I don't know how much they weigh. I'll weigh them in the future for this video. For the last couple years I've been going down the road to the Graham Winnie, but for me this is very manageable and it's worth it to be in my kit this time of year. Frozen ground kind of sucks messing around with stakes and this really makes it a lot easier. So that's it. Just a quick little video on what I do now with frozen ground and ice. I've never done it on ice. I can't personally say that I have, but I know someone that has, my cousin. He's an ice fisherman. He uses these things on ice all the time, and that's how I found out about it. He mentioned that, and I went, wow, that's a really good idea. Why didn't I think of that? Now, I'm not saying this is the best way or the only way, but this is the method that I'm going to use until I stumble upon something better, which brings me to a question. How do you stake out your hot tent on frozen ground and ice? I'd love to know. If you could let me know in the comment section, that'd be awesome. I'd really enjoy to hear all the different methods on what you guys are doing on frozen ground and ice. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate your support. Just a quick little video today, but this could save some headaches. It works. Give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your support. I'll see you on the next one.